needed to be done. Ooh, you have anything about it? Your head's come off? It's a shirt. What's up guys? Jim Gass from The Wild Game, and we're going shrimping. Let's go. Shrimping lights, aft anchor, shrimp nets, bucket, got some waders. We got some batteries charging over there. Let's get it. So after careful review of my tires, they're uh, pretty bad and I've been meaning to change them for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. We went from changing a tire to uh, changing the hub. The bearings were shot, so good thing to take care of. Let's go get some more parts, yay. One new hub. That's not a great sign for your bearings. So we're gonna change this hub out real quick also. We're gassed up, we're iced up, and we're gonna do some solo shrimping tonight. Boat's loaded down. Let's go. Hey, man. Dude, <laughs> look who it is. What's up, dude? What, what are you doing, doing tonight? Nothing, what are you doing? Shrimping, right now, you wanna go? Bet. Let's go. Woo! I thought I clapped myself. All right, it's not a solo trip anymore. We got Hunter, he's going with us. Ran into him at Wawa and he said he's down, so. What's up guys? Here we go. We got an hour drive and we'll see you at the boat ramp. So when we're shrimping, we're using a two anchor method to keep us completely sideways to the current. We're gonna set the front anchor and then we're gonna spin the back around and get that one set too. And then we'll even them out. So give it give it some extra because we'll end up pulling some in. There's a shrimp right there. Yep. All right. Well, we're on, we're on the spot, it looks like. All right, we're gonna get this other, uh... whoa! <laughs> I almost just fell over the side. That's my job. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. We're gonna get this other anchor out and then we're gonna get uh, set up. I just wanna show you guys the setup real quick. Can't talk too long, because we're already catching them. So, we're using green lights. We have our brightest lights out on the corners. And then we have one set a little deeper in the middle. And those little areas of uh, darkness in, in theory is where the shrimp are gonna slip through or over top of that. There goes one right there. So I gotta get my net going. Hey, hey big dead jack. You never know what you're gonna see float by out here. Big dead jack with a crab on it. This crab right here came over, drifted by. This crab grabbed the anchor line, started climbing up and now he's just hanging on. All right, we got shrimp running. I gotta, I gotta start shrimping and quit talking. I just wanted to show you guys the setup. Hunter, you getting any there, Bubba? Let me see. That's almost a full sock halfway. Oh yeah, decent size too. All right, so here's the thing. If we get a full pull, five gallon, if we get our limit, Hunter said he will strip down to his skivvies and do a belly flop off the front of the boat. Right? If we get, if we get 1,200 likes. <laughs> 1,200 likes. It's not a live stream. No. I'm going to go All right. If we get a full pull, I'll push him in the water when he's not looking. <laughs> I wish you would have. Cool, there's a big one. Yeah, that was a good one. Down. Working on it. Yeah. That's a start. The one right here. That's a double, dog. That's a double. He left me. No, missed him. Yeah, well, look at all these ones I dropped on the floor. Yeah. Come here, net, real quick. Get in the bucket. We uh, cut the lights off. It's uh, midnight 30. 
really slowed down. Hang out, we're gonna show you what we got back at the dock. There you go. About one quarter of what we wanted to get, but we got them. Yeah, we got some. Well, pretty good size ones. We're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna split the shrimp. Um, you do heads, I'll do tails for the split. That's not me. <laughs> That's an old shrimp joke. <sighs> shrimp or die, baby. Just like that, we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna get our shrimp from last night cleaned up. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. We're gonna get a good count of how many shrimp and um, we're gonna cook some shrimp. And I'm gonna show you my secret recipe. Take a good look at these shrimp. If you can tell me exactly how many shrimp are here, you'll win a very special prize. Comment below what your guess is. I'm gonna get a full count. When we're cleaning shrimp, we're gonna grab the head and we're gonna twist and pull. And the goal is to get as much of that vein out as you can. And when you twist and pull, you get that effect. See that vein comes out with it? On the smaller shrimp, it doesn't matter as much. The vein's not as big. And um, when you really have a bunch to clean, I use the pinch method, which uh, you can do two at a time. And you just pinch, their heads come off, their tails go there. I'm gonna get these cleaned up. I'm gonna show you how we freeze them and how we cook them. Let's go. Got all of our heads in the bag, all of our tails in the pot. And one thing I wanna show you guys that I like to do is take my heads, seal them in a Ziploc. I'll throw these in the freezer as well and then on trash day, throw them right into the trash so they don't stink. These shrimp heads, if they get a chance to get warm, get really stinky but my trash day is tomorrow, so these are going straight in the trash. Let's talk about shrimp. Some guts and slime that comes out of the heads. I like to give mine a good rinse. I like to freeze mine in the thicker freezer bags. I like to have them nice and wet, so when I freeze them, they have a little frost on them. It'll help them stay good longer, and this is the point at which I count them. That's a bag of 50 shrimp. Here in the shrimp pile. What up? We got the shrimp all packaged up and frozen. I just pulled some out to show you guys my secret shrimp recipe. This recipe is so secret, I didn't even know about it. I just invented it. So we got some people coming over. We're gonna have a turkey for dinner. We got it all rubbed in butter and seasoned, ready to go in the oven in a minute. This turkey you might remember is to be able to fit a turkey. We got it. Inside that turkey, we're gonna put 50 shrimp and some mushrooms and some stuffing and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Shrimp stuffing. Mm. This is shrimp stuffing. Mm. I made cornbread stuffing, chopped up mushrooms and shrimp and put them in there. Fresh caught shrimp stuffing. <laughs> All right, we're, we're passing it around. Everybody's gonna say what they, what they like about the shrimp stuffing or what they don't like. Heather, here you go, hold this. Say your piece and pass it around. I like everything about the shrimp shifting. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't like shrimp or stuffing. No pass. <laughs> Shrimp stuffing? Oh, you're it's facing yourself. Shrimp stuffing is bomb.com. Shrimp stuffing, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I got the camera because everybody's raving about it. Uh -huh. um, but the consensus is that shrimp stuffing is a winner. And we'll be uh, we'll be stuffing our turkeys yeah. with shrimp from now on. Yeah. Too, much mu too much mushrooms in there. It tastes like dirt. I love oh, mushroom. I didn't taste the mushroom. I hate Did mushrooms. you try it? Yeah, I hate mushrooms. Who's fucking me? Squirrel brat. Who brought him? <laughs> I don't know. 